So there I was editing, uh, editing my thoughts on whether I'm going back to Thailand or not on a Tuesday morning. And already feeling another video coming on. Coming on. So I also need a shave. When I don't shave, it certainly makes me look older. I'm old anyway, of course. That's my favourite saying, isn't it? Now, when I'm in Soho, when I lived here for five years, my most favourite breakfast is brunch, is what I've got now. <coughs> it's at Balan's uh, Cafe. I'll show it you. Cheese omelette with extra ham, English breakfast tea, and a pot of orange juice, a mug of orange juice with ice on the side. There's two Balans on Compton Street. This is the little Balans opposite Cafe Nero where I started the day with a coffee and um, this by far is people who know me on Facebook uh, this is my definitely in my top three probably my top one go to favourite meal they do a brown sauce there it is look really nice tasty little bit fruity brown sauce so I'm going to enjoy my meal and then I'm going to make another little video all around Soho I got a feeling. Absolutely beautiful day today. You see I definitely wouldn't complain about that price. Charge service charge as well. And some people go, oh you're having an omelette for 22 quid. Now I had omelette, potatoes, orange juice, cup pot of tea. And I sat in Soho in a beautiful spot where the restaurant cafe has to pay a lot of high rent and rates and uh, so I paid for the ambiance as well and I paid a service charge which was uh, £2.50 well worth it so I'm on uh, Shaftesbury Avenue walking down to Piccadilly Circus um, when I lived in Soho which was nearly two years ago now this building was all being rebuilt refurbished and the back of it, which is there, there are only tiny little uh, buildings, houses or warehouses. It wasn't really very much there. It was quite a lot of wasted land in a way. Look at that church. Well, that's a... Is it? Uh, no, that's not St Anne's. But... Anyway, because I'm getting distracted. Uh, this place has a rooftop uh, bar. So this is the back of it. From about where that red brick building was they were old but not very tall buildings there originally and uh, a lot of disused empty space really and that's been totally uh, changed now and the front of it fronts onto the big Piccadilly Circus video screen what I'm most excited about and if it is there I'll pop up and have a look it had the rooftop uh, rooftop bars and restaurants up on there and it may be open it may not be open if it's open I'm going to go up and have a little look here you've got the Devon Shoe which used to be a pub and last time I was here it was a Jamie Oliver place but the Queen's Head is still a pub just a pub and uh, Moulin Rouge Sidel is by far one of my, again, one of my, could be in the top three. Sidel is too, you need about a top 20, really. Well, that looks like that's almost gone back into a pub, look, a free house. No more posh food, which is a really good idea. Quite sure they make more money being a pub. Yeah, Sidel, you can get two or three course price fixed meals. Uh, here you are, look. So people go, oh, it's really expensive. Ooh, it's not. You can get a two-course meal for $16.95. Three-course, $19.75. And inside, I've got to tell you, it's absolutely beautiful. Very French. Fantastic dining experience. If you've come to Central London and you buy Piccadilly Circus, because you can see where Zidell's is, from Piccadilly Circus, I'm just walking there now, it's about 100 yards. Go to Zidell's and have a dining experience. It's remarkable. 20 quid for a two course meal? Come on. 
there's the screen look Piccadilly there we are and I know I'm always oh when I used to live here but that used to be my Barker's Bank then closed it closed when I lived closed just coming out of Covid so it's been closed a couple of years now I'm going to go down to Rowley's the restaurant see if I can book a table uh, for me and my daughter tomorrow I'm still not convinced she's going to travel and I don't think the upstairs bit is open yet because I, I saw an entrance but it's all screened off but I'll check that out in a bit let me go to Rowley's you see the further back you go the more, the more you can see you can see plants up there If it's not open yet, it's going to be close. I will check it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Always too much talking, aren't I? <laughs> so, from Piccadilly Circus, you walk down Regent Street, St James, get the Tesco's Express. You can also go where my daughter was the other day on her birthday. She came up with her brother. She went to... Yeah, Pizza Hut. Now I want to broaden her dining experience and take her around the corner. Here. There we go. Back of Tesco's, Rowley's. Inside it's all like grade two listed tiling. It's a fabulous building. And the man who invented wool sausages or Mr. Wool Sausage was actually born here. Maybe that it's not open in the daytime or maybe it is. There's the plaque there. So yeah, this is the restaurant. This is the back of the area, but up here is where all the tiling is. Thanks very much. Look at this. It's amazing. And you still do the unlimited fries? Yes. She likes that. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, if you're in London, don't go to Pizza Hut. Come to Rowley's. Here actually they do a two course for 30 quid so you can have a starter and a main or you can have a main and a pudding or a sticky toffee pudding my daughter would like that chicken breast we may not go for the set course because I really want her to try the steaks so there it is Rowley's Thomas Wall, Wall Sausages, 1930, he was born there. How about that for a bit of history? I could talk and tell you history all around here forever and a day, and actually I know very little and forget most of it. We could go up the top here, and now we're in German Street to... Uh... Yeah, we can walk up there to Beau Brummel statue. And look, they got like these lovely little pubs all in the little corners there. Green King, the Crown. I've been there before. I've got to find somewhere to watch the England game tonight. Hopefully there'll be a few mates about. In the meantime, I'm going to walk up off Carnaby Street now and visit Taylor to the Stars, Mark Powell. See what he makes of my uh, Thai-made reproduction jacket of his style. <laughs> so this is Air Street coming up off Piccadilly. And there's another little... I'm sure it's an independent Italian. I've been there a few times. So if you're looking for some simple Italian, independent, not that expensive, just off Brewer Street. It's on Air Street. Now going Brewer Street, we're heading for Carnaby. Give it a try. <laughs> Thank you.
That's a, uh, I don't know, they're all queuing, ordering takeaways. Another little cafe sandwich bar there, look. Yeah, they're all ordering takeaways of some carbon restaurant. And then we're going to go into Golden Square, which almost backs onto where I used to live. And in lockdown, I used to come to Golden Square with my mate, Midnight Bob. And we would sit there in Golden Square with a bottle of Prosecco concealed and plastic glasses. And that was in the early days of COVID where the COVID police, COVID marshals would come along and say, you can't sit down, you're only allowed out for an hour to exercise, you have to keep moving. My goodness, that was the early days and thankfully they're gone and I would certainly never get involved in any of that nonsense next time. If I've got to stay home and on my own, I'll go to some bloody rural Thailand island and just sit there in a hammock, literally. Not going to be, uh, assuming I can get there, of course, not going to be dictated to the way we were dictated to in the middle of COVID. So that's Golden Square. Up here, Kingley Court is the way through to Carnaby. So, yeah, there's Kingley Street, and that's so that's what happens in so. <laughs> Hello, so dry. Obviously, starting yeah. pride early with the Bowie look going on there. Kingley Court is great and it does totally, there's an entry way out or a way in that totally backs on to Marshall Street where my flat was. I do love it here and I guess that would be the only thing if I had a flat that I either rented or could buy somewhere in the suburbs even of London or even Didcot. It does give me the option to do pop up and visit my ex home although I'm not sure I really want that this will take us on to Carnaby Street There you are. It's going to be the walking girl and my block where I lived. I should just drop that. I used to live in Soho a bit, shouldn't I? But it's hard to hard not to mention it really. It's a great period of my life and something I'm proud I managed to do. Let's go and see Taylor to the stars, Mark Powell. He's already forgot more <coughs> famous celebrities that he's tailored than what he'd even remember. And I wouldn't imagine I'd record in there. Might do a little video of me and him saying hello and goodbye, who knows. You come round here any Friday night, Thursday night as well, this is rammed the white horse. Obviously this weekend it's going to be totally rammed anyway because it's Pride weekend. Saturday you won't be able to move in Soho. Hopefully I won't be in Soho. I'll find a way of being a bit further out. Saturday night we'll be in the Water Rats venue, King's Cross. Nice bike. Mark's place is next to this one. Let's go in and have a chat first. I get. If you want an independent tailor in Soho, he's your man. 
Manager yeah, doesn't listen to outside critics because he says so I've got the whole base to myself. Acknowledging that the team hadn't said this is downstairs under Violet's team. Bar in Berwick Street Solo. I've had a few parties here. So I'm all tuned in. Happy days. So here I am. <laughs> Still unshaven of course. Had a great day in Soho, totally ruined by a terrible England performance again. Side was passing, back passing. What is that all about? Why don't they want to attack? But they'll have to in the next game, because we're still undefeated, top of the group. But it's a knockout now, it's, there's no draws. You have to win or you go home. So they have to change their tactics. So depressing being an England football fan. Anyway, uh, I can't even remember what I was talking about earlier on when I was in Soho, but uh, all my Bowie people are coming to London Soho this weekend, Friday and Saturday, so that's going to be fun.